So we come to the seventh move of the nine form sequence. This nine form sequence is added on to 18 form sequence and a eight form sequence based on the eight brocades. So eight form and 18 form. We're going into the nine form now, the seventh move of that nine form. So this is the third from last. So again, this is the 33rd move of the whole 35, all three forms put together. Um, this one's called Separate the Clouds. A few different ways of doing it. But again, we're going to go more into the breathing. It's a not a traditional way, like I said on others. Um, we're going to go more into the breathing. So we're going to go into yogic Pilates and hypnotheric breath with the motion, okay? So we stick with the motion, it's just motion at the end of the day. We're gonna zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take your navel towards the spine right now, and that's gonna help you breathe anywhere but the belly button. It's gonna help us breathe low and deep into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach, okay? Lovely. And as that naturally happens, because there's nowhere else the breath to go apart from into these lower lobes of lungs, that will help you use your pelvic floor and your corset muscle, the transverse abdominis, three layers deep, in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button. Keep breathing into these lower lobes of lungs, breathing in from the nose and exhaling through per slip, so as long as you like, okay? So if you're blowing out a candle through purse lips, and that's the Pilates breath. Now again, as we slightly go down the more yogic path, we close the mouth and keep on zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, but breathing through the nose and out through the nose now, and that will help you lengthen the whole wheel cycle to breath. Okay, and you'll especially feel you want to naturally want to elongate the out breath longer than the in breath, just simply allow that to happen, okay? Allow that to happen. Lovely. And then consciously take your mind to that out breath, rather than the breath review, as you keep zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, and breathing in for the nose now, and out for the nose, through that smaller filter, that yogic breath, you can naturally Rather than the breath breathe you, you breathe the breath, that out breath. You're going to naturally elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Within your limits, quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like. Just make the out breath longer than the in breath. Within your limits. And that stimulate the subconscious part of your mind. Because as you breathe in its conscious thought right now, right now as you exhale and elongate the exhale longer than the inhale, that will naturally bring in the subconscious properties of the body. Sleep, digestion, rest and relaxation will benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Again, all the things you don't think about. Cellular function, organ function, communication and cellular communication. That health and renewal of the body heartbeat, blood pressure, etc. will all be benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath, encouraging them parasympathetic nervous system responses and benefits by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Lovely. Simply ride in the wave that lovely elongated out-breath at will as you keep zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals Breathing in and out through the nose. And again, that just brought in the, hip, not the hypnotherapy type breathing on an out breath by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. But again, if you, we've got a mixture of Pilates, hypnotherapy there and yoga. Again, it's just breath, just different styles. But if you do want to go a little bit more advanced with a yogic breath, and if you can, then do it. But if not, just carry on zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals taking your navels towards the spine, then muscles go together, you can't do one without the other, and keep on breathing out from the nose while elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. But if you want to go to Ujjayi breath, victorious breath, you're just going to grip your esophagus, 
make it smaller and narrower, and you'll make this sort of sighing, whistling, silky sound. If you can't get it, don't worry. Carry on doing it as you are. It's advanced breath, ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. You breathe in through the nose. And exhale. It's like a soft, sweet sighing, silky, raspy sound for the back of the throat. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Lovely. So again, if you can't, you can't get that, don't worry. But if you can get it, again, as you can hear it more, that'll help you focus more. Natural focusing breath, ujjayi breath. They stimulate the thyroid glands, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat in the body and fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Lovely. But again, if you can't, don't worry. Just carry on doing the breath we're doing as we link that to motion. Okay, we're going to link that to motion now. So again, we do separate the clouds. Again, it's two hands, one leg. So there's a lot of this goes on, a lot of Qigong motions. That's why it's so good. They open out the chest and all the organs in the chest, the heart, the lungs, the pericardium, the heart lining. As you do this, you'll feel that stretchy little pinkies, little fingers. Again, if you go down a traditional route, they believe that's the heart meridian. But again, we're not going into that. Really good motion. It helps you bring the shoulders in the right position. But it's two hands, one leg. Same deal as always. Only go as high or as low as you like that leg. But again, the breathing, we're just going to breathe in, come up, and exhale for as long as you like. If you have to sort of put a toe down and come all the way down with the hands, then do that. If you can't balance that long, that's fine. Keep on zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out abdominals. That'll help you do that though. But again, if you want to stay low with the foot, you can do or high, or just keep a toe on the ground and sort of cat stance, feel free. But otherwise, lift the leg low or high. Two hands, one leg. So you can mount the hands with the feet and that soft cushion of the earth. Again, if you have to come down quick with that foot, just come down on the toe. And then the heel as the hands come down. Just see if you can mount the hands of the feet, breathing and coming up, because you're going to try and make the out breath go longer than the in breath. So if you have to go down first with the foot, carry on with that elongated out breath. Breathing through the nose and the out through the nose. If you want to go wider, go wider. If you want to sit a bit deeper, keep the eye good go get principles. Again, feet slightly wider and length apart, but going down no lower than knees and arm the toes, optional. Breathing coming up, empty foot or completely empty up there. Exhaling down, feel that soft cushion of the earth. Breathing coming up, lovely yawning type stretch, like that first yawn in the morning. Exhaling down, breathing coming up. Exhaling down, gather in, zip up and hollow, navel towards the spine and exploit the speed and tempo. Remember, slow is harder, fast is easier, especially on this descending phase, this negative phase, this lowering down phase is always the hardest part. So really exploit that speed and tempo to make it as easy or as hard as you like. Breathing in, coming up, exhaling down. Exploit the speed and tempo. If you want to go lower, go lower, but no lower than knees and arm and toes. Keep them Iyengar Yoga alignment principles. Lovely. So you've got two more, the penultimate one and then the last one after. To finish the whole 35 moves. Uh, that was separate the clouds. And like I say, anything that opens up the chest is good. You spend a lot of time compressed against gravity, bearing gravity, these organs get very compressed. So anything that opens up the chest is good. Um, gather in, zip up and hollow, maintain good structure. So keep the leg low or high. But again, the next one is a nice simple one called bringing down the heavens. Then we got Tai Chi closure at the end. So, but that was the 33rd move, the whole 35, three forms put together. Separate the clouds. Bang, lovely.